Morning YouTube, Matt M. Roy back again. Well, as you can see, this is the day after our big snowstorm. We didn't get quite as much snow as we thought, but uh, it, it's still pretty significant, for at least for us around here. You can see on the railing, we got a good amount built up. And what we're going to do is I'm going to try to measure this real quick just to see exactly what it says. Okay. As you can see right there on the railing, it says about maybe four and a half inches. Now I'm going to go over here. It's not always the best measurement. We could take it up on here. This is the top of one of our bushes. Unfortunately, I can't really feel the bottom of it. Usually you can. There we go. Got it. All right, so that says about five inches. As you can see, we've been out all morning uh, shoveling. I did this whole area here, and I did the path over around here, and then Dad did the sidewalk from the garage all around here, and we took turns cleaning off all the vehicles. So if we do have to go somewhere today, we can, but I highly doubt that's going to happen. Bring you guys around to the side. This is a very wet snow. As you can see, this is the perfect kind for making snowballs. And of course, it will stick because it's so wet. What I'm going to do is go around to an area that we haven't really been messing around with, probably somewhere right in the middle of the backyard. I want to stay away from the buildings because the, it'll give a false reading because of the snow drifts. Stuff could have fallen off the roof. And of course, it is 11 a.m., so it's kind of been compacted. But we're just going to get a somewhat accurate reading over here. All right, there you go. So it was only really about four inches, I guess. But you do have to remember, it may have been a lot more earlier. We had a lot of sleet, and that compacted the snow. See, we got some on the roof. Luckily, our roof is pitched at a fairly sharp angle so most of the snow falls off. It's just really beautiful out. I love coming out after it snows. You can see it is fairly wet and it is kind of warm so there's no ice under here. I mean this is just total snow. Probably take another measurement right up here. See what this says. Yeah, looks like the consensus is right. Consensus is right about four inches. Yeah, we'll just take one up here for the heck of it. Yep. There we go. Yeah, you can see that's a little it says a little deeper. That says closer to five inches. So I'm gonna say we're between four to five inches. May have had a locally heavier amount earlier this morning, but again. We had a lot of slush between uh, 3 and 5, which pretty much compacted all the snow down. Let me try to clear this off. This is for our, uh, the vent for our gas fireplace. I don't think we're going to use it today, but you never know. Ruler's good, for, not just good for measuring. That's starting to get a little rusted. I'm going to have to add some paint to that when the weather gets better. But yeah, it's really nice to see some snow. Now, of course, whenever you're walking in snow, you want to be careful, especially when it gets past the five, six inch mark. And my boots hurt my feet, so I'm wearing my uh, waterproof leather Cadillac shoes. Well, that's the walk around my house. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick weather update. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.